During the expedition, we made nine ROV dives. And what we'll be seeing are portraits of some of the animals that we encountered during our deep dives. This is an animal called a tinafore. The beautiful colors are created when white light from the ROV is diffracted like a prism diffracts light as it passes through structures called comb rows on the animal itself. And this creature is a crustacean, uh, a strange shrimp-like creature named Cystosoma that has a huge eye and a transparent body. I have no idea why it's swimming in circles, but they seem to do that whenever we come across them. This is a beautiful jellyfish. Uh, its body is covered with nematocyst batteries. Nematocysts are stinging cells that it uses to collect prey and also to protect itself from predators. The red color in the blue light at depth down there turns the animal essentially black so it can't be seen. And this predator is a, a fish named Cerevomer. It's swimming with its head pointed upward so it can see the silhouettes of potential prey against the lighted waters above. And this little beauty is a, a tinafore named Lampotius. It's one that we described from Monterey Bay, and it too is showing diffraction of the ROV's white lights, broken up like a prism, in order to produce these beautiful rainbow colors along its body. This little squid is called Planktotuthis, and it, it is probably using that spectacular tail structure uh, as a, a mimic, uh, making it look like a, a siphonophore instead of a, a squid. This beautiful medusa feeds on a variety of, of small shrimp and other crustaceans. Some uh, medusa like that sit and wait for the prey to bump into their tentacles, but this one swims around actively to encounter prey. And this is one of our favorite animals. This is Colobonema cerisium a little medusa that has a trick up its sleeve. When it's threatened, it can drop one or more of its tentacles in its wake, sort of like a lizard dropping its tail to distract a, a predator who will go after the glowing tentacle rather than the animal that goes dark. This little squid is Histiotuthis. It's a, it's a beautiful little animal, sometimes called a strawberry squid. But what's most unique about it is that it has one big eye uh, that it uses to look upwards, and one small eye that it uses to look downwards. This is Forscalia. It's a siphonophore with a unique way of fishing. And when it wants to uh, spread its tentacles out to capture prey, it spins, and the rotary motion of the spinning pulls the tentacles out in a big cloud so that it's got a, a very uh, effective spatial coverage of the water around it. And this little squid is one that we've seen a, a, a great deal of out here. We think that at the moment it's uh, trying to shade its eyes from the lights of the submersible, uh, which are undoubtedly are something it hardly ever encounters. This is a siphonophore. It's a colony of animals uh, although it appears to be a single individual, actually it's probably hundreds of individuals all joined together. They, the colonies are like ant colonies or bee colonies in that there are individuals specialized for particular functions. That enormous range of tentacles is like swimming into a curtain of stinging cells. And this is another jellyfish. It's called Deep Staria. It's named after the submarine that first discovered it. Almost all of the ones we encounter have what we call a pilot. There's a crustacean that lives inside the bell. Uh, that's its home and it, it borrows or steals food from the jellyfish as it's captured and it probably uh, picks off parasites that want to feed on the inside of the, of the animal. This is a, a wonderful and rare predatory fish 
named Omosudis. You can see that it's hanging in the water column. It was looking head down, trying to follow the vertical shafts of light coming down from above in order to spot prey swimming below. And as we zoom in, you can see that it's got a very powerful jaw. 